In this lesson, we will discuss the concept of stages in Snowflake. Snowflake refers to the location of data files in cloud storage as a stage. These storage locations used for storing and managing data files that are either loaded into or extracted from Snowflake. These stages serve as intermediaries for data movement, allowing businesses to efficiently transfer data to and from Snowflake's cloud data warehousing platform. There are two main types of Snowflake stages, external stages and internal stages. External stages are locations outside of the Snowflake environment, often in cloud storage services like Amazon S3, Azure Data Lake Storage, or Google Cloud Storage. They are used for accessing data files stored in external sources and integrating them with Snowflake. External stages facilitate data ingestion from various external sources, making it easier to bring data into Snowflake for analysis and processing. You cannot access data held in archival cloud storage classes that requires restoration before it can be retrieved. These archival storage classes include, for example, the Amazon S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval or Glacier Deep Archive Storage class, or Microsoft Azure Archive Storage. A named external stage is a database object created in a schema. This object stores the URL to files in cloud storage. Internal stages are located within the Snowflake environment itself and are used for managing data files stored within Snowflake. Internal stages are typically used for loading data into Snowflake tables or unloading data from Snowflake. Internal stages can be either permanent or temporary. Snowflake internal stages are further classified into User stages Table stages Named stages by default, each user and table in Snowflake is automatically allocated an internal stage for staging data files. In addition, you can create internal name stages. Snowflake offers several data loading commands and tools to facilitate the process of loading data into Snowflake tables. Some of the key data loading commands and tools in Snowflake include Get command, put command, and copy into command. Please note that Get and put commands cannot be executed from the Worksheet tab page in the Snowflake web interface. Instead, use the SnowSQL command line tool to upload data files from your local machine into Snowflake stages. The get command retrieves data files from an internal or external stage to a local client machine. The put command is used to upload data files from a local client machine to an internal or external stage in Snowflake. The copy into command is used for bulk data loading into Snowflake tables. It allows you to load data from external or internal stages into a target table. 